What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the weapon crafting system. We got a lot of details in yesterday's This Week in Destiny. I want to kind of go over them today. Of course, hear your guys' thoughts down in the comment section. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. First of all, they talked about everyone in the Witch Queen early in the campaign will be giving uh, be given a, an introductory quest that runs you through the ins and outs of crafting. In the first and second missions of the Witch Queen, which will be free to all players, Guardians will uncover the Deep Sight ability and be introduced to the Enclave. So it does sound like if you do not own the Witch Queen, if you're still playing the free-to-play version of the game, you will still be able to craft weapons. I'm sure it's going to kind of be like the Helm was, though. There's going to be seasons tied into it and other things tied into it that is, you know, kind of particular to the Witch Queen DLC and future seasons and DLC going forward. So you're probably not going to have access to the entire thing if you have the free-to-play version, but you will at least have access to that first quest. And you can get into weapon crafting to see if you enjoy it and maybe, you know, kind of pick up the DLC later down the road. This is where you will begin to shape, you know, some of the you know, some of your weapons. Uh, the new weapon that's going to be introduced into the game as well will be able to be crafted here. All necessary uh, materials will be provided to you for your first crafted weapon, but you'll also be given a short tutorial on how those materials can be gathered, of course, and things for future crafting. A uh, set of weapon archetypes will be craftable from the start, but more will be added in the future. Now, we're not quite sure how many weapons we'll have access to crafting, you know, or how many we'll have access to to craft in general. Um, I'm sure it's not going to be everything in the game. I know that a lot of people wanted to see everything. We have different other, other different things they're doing with legendary weapons. Uh, so there's going to be different ways to get drops of other legendary weapons as well, still in the game. So... Eventually, we may have, you know, pretty much all the weapons available to us, but as of, you know, kind of the Witch Queen's release, we're not going to have everything day one. In order to shape your future tools of destruction, you'll need to do a little bit of research first. Patterns are your first requirements. Some will be acquired through quest completions, while others will be earned by completing various gameplay objectives. Once you've earned your desired pattern, it can be crafted at any time with the required materials. Now it's all about the mixings. So we're going to be able to go out and do different things in game and earn patterns. Now they did not list all the activities, whether it will be nightfalls, whether it will be the new, uh, you know, the new dungeons down the road, raids, uh, PVP, whatever the case may be. But we can get these blueprints, which is kind of something, you know, other games have followed. Uh, they've kind of followed suit with other games when it comes to blueprints and, and getting patterns to be able to craft stuff. So that's a pretty neat idea, in my opinion. After reaching the Enclave and crafting your first, you know, original weapon, randomly roll weapons throughout the game have a chance to drop with a new ability called Deep Sight. This will be used as you begin to target specific traits to craft. For example, if you find a Deep Sight legendary auto rifle with the Rampage perk, you can complete an objective and extract the essence to craft a weapon with a Rampage or a perk that increases damage. So if you find weapons throughout the world with this deep sight, uh, you know, on it, you can take or extract that and use that in your crafting uh, down the road. If you want to use, you know, something that is on that weapon and you like, you know, you like the roll on that weapon, it has deep sight. You can use that deep sight to extract that and use it later on, you know, depending on what that perk is. Also, they talked about uh, like current like current weapons, not every weapon pattern will be compatible with every trait. So I know a lot of people were looking forward to maybe having the option to be able to kind of mix and match and do whatever they wanted with any weapon. I think that would probably have been a bit too strong on some guns. So they have, you know, made it kind of like weapons drop in the game. Now, you know, you're not going to be able to get every single roll on every single weapon, even when you craft them. But you will have a good list of traits to mix and match as you customize a given weapon to your desired specifications. And it doesn't stop there. Through the Enclave, you'll also be able to kick things up a notch and enhance your traits to strengthen their flavor. Uh, flavor. Once a weapon is crafted, Guardians may begin to increase its level by using it in achievements and by defeating enemies. This is where the bulk of your crafting playtime will be. The more you use the weapon, the faster you will unlock its full potential. So pretty much after you've made it, after you've crafted it, I, I kind of consider this to be like the catalyst. You know, you have to do certain things for the catalyst, but instead of really doing certain individual things, it seems like we're just going to have to play with those weapons to actually level them up. Enhanced stats and traits uh, can be unlocked when reaching higher levels, granting slight bonuses to your weapon's capabilities, which kind of sounds like the same concept as when you mastercraft a weapon, you get to, you know, increase its capabilities somewhat. Their goal through this system is to give players a reason to invest into their weapons far beyond what masterworking could offer in the past. Each weapon can now act as a long tail pursuit as you look to make your freshly crafted weapons the best it can be. 
Of course, it says it can be intimidating to start making decisions on how to build your weapons so that will also be giving you the ability to reshape your crafted weapons in the Enclave if you want to mix it up. So you don't feel like you're kind of locked into one thing if you decide you want something later on on that weapon down the road. So they're going to have the option to shape, which will be create a new weapon, or reshape, which will be to modify an existing weapon. Now, they did not specify the price for all of this. They did show a few images where it shows some of the new crafting material, which is resonant alloy. It shows using some glimmer and some enchantment cores to do some of the things with the weapons. But they did not talk about price in total, of how much it's going to cost to shape a weapon, and they did not say if it's going to cost to reshape a weapon. I'm assuming it's probably going to cost something to re-roll your weapon. Um, you know, whether you take a perk off and add a new perk to it, whatever the case may be. I'm sure it's going to cost something, but they really go into great detail about that. It says, as Guardians begin to embrace the system, you'll begin to see new legends rise. Some will prefer, you know, some weapons from certain foundries, while others may dabble in weapons from the redacted. We're, we're excited to see weapons as you embrace them. So, you know, they're going to have the hacky, the, the Shuros, that kind of thing. And they talked about that later on in the... Uh, you know, the this week in Bungie. I'm going to make a separate video about that, how legendary weapons are going to work going forward. Pretty much everything we have now, they're going to have new perks and new roles and things on them going uh, in the future when the Witch Queen is released. So sadly, we're going to have to refarm a lot of those older weapons we have if they're still available in-game. They have not been, of course, you know, vaulted. So while the majority of the crafting experience will be dedicated to mixing and matching and enhancing traits, there's also an opportunity for a bit of customization when it comes to appearance and activity specific trackers at launch one weapon memento will be become or become available for players to earn through gambit unlocking a gambit themed appearance and tracker ranking your weapon to max level head back to the enclave and you can apply that freshly earned memento for a for some sweet flare and it says more of these will come you know through trials of osiris grandmaster nightfalls and so on they also went on real quick to kind of talk about exotic crafting it says legendaries aren't the only thing you'll be able to craft uh the upcoming new SMG, exotic SMG, and three class unique uh, exotic glaives that can be crafted to the Enclave once you find their uh, respective patterns, of course. While the legendary weapons kind of can be built from the ground up, they said the exotics are more kind of a tweaking thing where you can fine tune something about their identity. So you can make them, you know, have more long range profile for the weapon or, you know, uh, kind of opting in to shred through your enemies for a close range kind of personal profile uh, profile they did not mention anything about older exotics so i'm not sure if you'll be able to add your older exotics to this and, and actually do anything with them uh, in the crafting system or if you'll have to get them to drop again or if they're going to add some kind of system in where we can repurchase them with you know the ability to use them in the enclave itself they really did not go into great detail about that but I did like that they at least added, you know, some of the new exotics, uh, the ability to actually kind of fine tune them, even though we cannot completely craft them. Maybe exotics will be completely craftable in the future, kind of like the legendary weapons are now. But that is pretty much it, guys, for how the weapon crafting system is going to work. There's still not a lot of, I, I guess, kind of some gray, shady areas there. Where everybody's not really sure exactly how some of this is going to work. We're probably going to have to wait and see once the Witch Queen comes out, unless, you know, in the next couple of weeks we get some more info. But overall, it sounds like a pretty unique, neat system. I think a lot of people are really excited about it as a whole. I think some people were disappointed that you could not, you know, I saw comments and stuff on forums and on Twitter saying they were kind of disappointed you couldn't add whatever you wanted to any gun. Like I said, I, I think that would have been a bit too strong in some weapons or with some weapons. But overall, I think it's going to be a pretty interesting experience. I'm really curious to see how long it's going to take to craft these weapons. Of course, there's going to be other weapons and things we can farm in game with other perks they talked about within... Uh, the article itself but i'm curious to see how long it's going to take to craft a weapon and actually level it up if it's going to be something like the process of doing the masterwork you know where you got to get so many kills and eventually you're going to unlock all the you know perks of that crafted weapon or if it's going to be something you know that's a lot longer process than that so leave me a comment with your thoughts let me know what you think about the new weapon crafting system and of course if you like the video hit the like if you have not subscribed yet please do so and i'll catch you all next time peace